Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing Disney. Disney's so much fun to do. And these decorations, if you love Disney, will be so cute for your Halloween decor. This is a blast from the past video. This is from when I first started my channel. So bear with me on that lighting. Sometimes it's not the greatest. But the crafts were so cute. I just wanted to share it again. Maybe for some of my new subscribers who haven't seen this. Because these are so simple and easy to make and if you love Disney they'll be a great addition so stay tuned guys let's get crafting This is just so simple. I had originally gotten my palette from Dollar General because at that time Dollar Tree wasn't selling them. But you can get palettes from Dollar Tree now. And then you're just going to need three circular items. I had these wooden ornaments and they just worked perfect. But any circular item will do. So I'm just going to hot glue two of the circles to the top that'll be his ears and then i'm going to hot glue the third circle overlapping them and that'll be his face Then you're just going to come in with your black paint and you're going to paint his ears black and you're going to paint half of his face black and the other half of his face red. I came in with the white and I just gave it some highlights. Um, just highlighting it kind of like you would on a pumpkin, just to add a little depth and dimension. And then I added three or two circles to where the black and the red meet, and that's the buttons. So simple and he's just so adorable and it's so easy to make Mickey. So on to project number two.
For this one, I'm using white and black paint, one of these boxes from Dollar Tree, and I just Googled Mickey's, uh, actually I Googled Pumpkin Mickey, and I got that face. So I removed the circular piece, trying not to damage it, because I knew I was going to be attaching it again. And then coming in with white, I just gave that a nice coat of white paint. Then I took my black paint and I painted the inside and the outside of the box black. I cut out the face and I used Mod Podge to attach it to the circular piece. Using hot glue, I just attached that right back into the box. But at this point, I thought it, the little pumpkin face needed a stem. So I went in my stash and I grabbed one of my wooden J's and cut it down to make the stem. And then I painted it black and added a little white highlights. Then I came in with my black paint and I just gently went over the face to add lines and make him look, look more like a pumpkin. He's just so stinking cute. I and you can go and get any Google image of Mickey's face to use on this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. And just adding a few touches, you have something so cute. And if you love Disney, a great addition to that Halloween decor. For the next project, you're going to need some more images. Just find your favorite Mickey images or Disney images, and you're going to need some glass jars. You can use old spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce jars or mason jars, anything. You're going to want to cut out the image and put it in the jar. And then just using a Sharpie, trace around the image. I just used like painter's tape to secure it inside so it wouldn't move while I was drawing the image on the glass. Then I just used a black Sharpie and drew around the image and then filled it in.
Then I came in and added some ribbon to the top of the jars. I just think that ribbon makes everything just so much cuter. You don't have to do this, but it also hides the top of the jar and hides those creases where the lid would have um, been attached to the jar. So it really does hide that. Using different items that I already had. I think this is a glass shot glass from Dollar Tree. I just hot glued the jar to that just to give it height. And then I had a glass like votive candle holder that I glued the other one to. I just wanted these to have different heights. But you can use anything that you have in your stash. I had some battery operated tea lights and I dropped those into the glasses, but this could also be, you could also use real candles for this too. And this is just so simple and cute. And it gives such a great little look when the candles are going. Such a neat little kind of semi spooky ambiance. This project is so easy to do. I have three pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, two in orange, one in black. And then I just Googled Mickey's faces and I wanted to color coordinate it. So I found ones that were black and orange um, with the hint of orange or black in each of them, if that makes sense. <laughs> and you don't even have to paint this project. Just cut out your images and Mod Podge them to the back of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. I added some black twine to the top and I think I did it on the bottom of one of these and because I did remove the raffia at the beginning. So simple and so adorable. These, it doesn't get any easier than this craft, I tell you. 
I just love Disney and I love adding Disney to my Halloween decor. I hope you enjoyed this Blast from the Past video. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I absolutely love how these pieces turned out. I wish I would have had my light on to show you though. You live and learn. This is from the beginning. <laughs> So there they are. So cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, ring that bell for future notifications, and give me that thumbs up if you liked what I showed you. Hitting that like button really helps my channel. It tells YouTube you liked it and maybe others will too. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. I love y'all and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all.